another video reading an article from Genesis Park, Iron Pot Found in Coal. So this is a weird story about pot. Anyway, Woodward A. Rush published an account in the Creation Research Society Quarterly 7, 1971 of a rough cast iron pot that was found in a mid-Pennsylvanian coal seam at a municipal electric plant in Sulphur County, no, no, Sulphur City, Oklahoma. The artifact is now archived at the at Creation Evidence Museum. This small implement was, imb was embedded inside a single large clump of coal. While other coal artifacts have been found, but few have been well documented and analyzed, in this case, there was a notarized letter documenting the authenticity of the find. The document states the following. Sulphur Springs, Arkansas, November 27, 1948. While I was working in a municipal electric plant in Thomas, Oklahoma in 1912, I came upon a solid chunk of coal which was too large to use. I broke it with a sledgehammer. <laughs> this iron pot fell out from the center, leaving the impression or mold of the pot in a piece of coal. Oh, in a piece of coal. Jim Stoll, an employee of the company, witnessed the breaking of the coal and saw that pot fall out. I traced the source of the coal and found that it came from Wilburton, Oklahoma mines. Frank J. Kinford, sworn before me in Sulphur Springs, Arkansas, this 27th day of November, 1948. Julia L. Eldred, N NP, my commission expires May 21st, 1951, Benton Cove. A handful of other such artifact and coal accounts have been recorded. Sanderson Ivan T. Universe U no. Uninvited Visitors, 1967, P uh, PP 180, I mean 195 through 196, including an intricate gold chain found in coal. The Morrisonville, Illinois Times on June 11, 1891, published a report that Mrs. S. W. Um, Culp found a circular shaped 8 karat gold chain about 10 inches long embedded in a lump of coal after she broke it apart to put in her scuttle. The chain was described as antique and of quaint workmanship. The story said only part of the chain was revealed when she first broke open the coal and the rest of the chain remained buried within the coal. The coal came from one of the southern Illinois mines. Unfortunately, the artifact has since disappeared. But, the re like, why does this matter? Well, coal was formed a long time ago. I believe it formed during the flood. And I think it's more reasonable to think that these things are from the pre-flood world. It shows God's judgment and His right to judge the world. And that's why I'm telling you this. I don't want you to be judged by God. I want you to give your life to Jesus and let Him accept the judgment for you. It's a free gift. I want you to know you are loved and you are matter and you are made for a purpose. Just like this pot once was. But unlike this pot, I don't want you to be found in a lump of coal in a few hundred years, you know? So, God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And goodbye.